Konnichiwa, it stars here, and today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Today is a mix of things, so I have snacks to try, but we are also finally going to be doing the Q&A. Isn't that exciting? Also, I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise. There is some motivation going on, so that's why I'm here. So... I think first we should get the we should do a food thing answer some questions and then do the other food so what I have for you guys today is this Del Monte released a fruit cup but it has bub boba in it but it's like clear so if you guys can see like this is the the boba so there were different flavors I got the strawberry and peach flavor so I'm gonna go ahead and oh oh let's see let's uh oh it smells so good it tastes good too so let me go ahead and let's go ahead and let's see if I can get a piece of boba <laughs> Sorry, slurping is gross. But there it is. That's what it looks like. Oh! It's popping boba! Okay, but it's just clear. Let's see, get a piece of this. Mmm. Fruit cups are great. I love the um, popping boba. Oh, it gets me. I used to get a lot of popping boba when I would go to um, this yogurt place called Sweet Frog. I don't know if you guys have, have Sweet Frog where you guys are, but it's delicious. So I'm going to stop eating that because it's really making a watery mess and I didn't expect it to. I haven't had a fruit cup in a really long time, but that's good. And then the other snacks I have are from my friend over in the UK. She had sent me some snacks and I'm definitely going to try them. So Olivia, if you're watching, thank you so much for sending me snacks. So let's go ahead and get to these questions. I am on my computer because my questions that I have saved are on my computer. I have them in a separate little folder. I'm just so gonna go in line here. So the first question is from Drew Thad Soria. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, thank you so much for your question or questions. I know a lot of, like, the same person asks a lot of questions. So they have a lot of questions for me. First question that they asked is, how did you start getting into kawaii culture type stuff after dolls? So in case you guys are new to this channel and you haven't come from my other channel, I, my other channel was about dolls like I had this I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I had this phase where I was really into dolls because I just thought hey I I like dolls I like the way they look people do some amazing things with them I am a doll collector but then some some things happened in my personal life that I really just cannot share. I'm so sorry. But I kind of took a little bit of a self-exploration journey and I found out that, hey, dolls aren't really my thing. And so I kind of went back to like my roots because I grew up in New York in uh, Queens, Flushing, and there is a lot of like Asian markets, Asian stores, and I love all that stuff. So I was kind of like, yeah, you know, this is for me. It reminds me a little bit of home. And also I'm watching anime and stuff again, cause I used to watch anime when I was smaller. So yeah, I guess it's just a thing of, it hits home. So the next question is, what do you like about Japanese culture? 
Oh my gosh. That's a really good question. So, the thing I love the most about Japanese culture is like some of their like folklore stories. Is that how you would say it? Or like for like some of the reasons like behind like certain festivals or why they do things a certain way or what's considered bad luck and what to do if you do have bad luck. I think all that stuff is just really intriguing. I'm also like, I also like the fashion and the, the food. I'm, I'm a food, I'm a food driven girl. <laughs> and the final question is, what are your other interests? So I am also interested in like cartoons and I love, I'm interested in like drawing, video games. I love playing video games. I am a Nintendo girl all the way through and through. So thank you so much for your questions. I'm pretty sure you have more, but I'm just going down the line for what I have here. All right. This question is from MD. Thank you so much, MD, for submitting your question. Your question is, what is your favorite monthly So Kawaii boxes? So, okay, I'm not sure what you're exactly asking. Like, is it So Kawaii, the subscription box? And like, which month do I like the most? Honestly, I, uh, ooh. I'm not quite sure. So, I would say that April's So Kawaii box was was amazing because I Sakura themed things and it was just a really pretty box but <laughs> there's a but hold up there's a but there was a <laughs> there was a sneak peek on Soka Weiss Instagram and if you guys if some of you guys follow me on Instagram you'll know I posted a story about how much I freaked out over the spoiler that they showed. So we'll see what September box holds for So Kawaii. But as of right now, my favorite So Kawaii box is April. Period. So thank you so much for your question. Let's move on to this one. This one is from Maria Miles and she asked, can you draw? Yes, I can. Not well, but I can draw. I would show you some of my drawings, but I can't go upstairs. And that's where my drawing binder is. Yes, I said binder. I'm practicing, okay? Leave me be. <laughs> so thank you so much, Maria, for your question. I'm pretty sure there's more. It's somewhere. Um, this is from an anonymous person. They asked, what's your favorite subscription box? Darn. So I've only really tried Three. Yeah, three. Three. So the three I tried are Kawaii Box, So Kawaii, and Doki Doki Crate. I didn't really care for Doki Doki Crate because it was just so expensive and I didn't feel like I was getting what I paid for. Like I get that some of the stuff in the box is probably expensive, but I didn't really I didn't really see it. I didn't really feel it either. So that brings us down to Kawaii Box and So Kawaii Box. So Kawaii Box is really good. Um, I don't know. It's so hard. I love the stuff that I get in Kawaii Box. Like Kawaii Box is one of those boxes where I know I won't be disappointed. Like even if I didn't like the theme. Like you guys remember the the June box and how I had. Uh, I had skipped it because I wasn't interested in some of the characters and stuff. But when they sent it to me and I opened it, I was like, oh. So, yeah, I was really surprised with that. But So Kawaii Box is really good because it's, it's better than Doki Doki Crate because that box is expensive too. But I feel like I'm getting what I paid for. Do you understand like what I'm trying to say? Like, it doesn't feel cheap. You get a lot of stuff in there for the price that you're paying for. 
So I don't know. I really, I can't answer, I cannot answer that question because I really love both of them equally. But I am hoping to try more boxes in the future. Speaking of that, before we move on to the next question, I am thinking about getting more boxes. I'm thinking about getting Japan Crate, which is a snack box. I'm thinking about getting Japan Candy Box, which is like um from the same company as Kawaii Box. I'm thinking about getting Inky Crate, which is by Japan Crate. And then there was one more. Oh, Rocky Box. Right. Rocky Box is from Hong Kong, so I'm not... I'm not quite sure which one I want to try first. I may have to stop one of the boxes that I have now and try one of those other boxes. But I will probably put a put a poll. Yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So in the description down below, there is going to be a poll. And you guys will help me decide which box to stop. And then the next question will be, which one do you guys want to see? Thank you, Anonymous, for your question. Next up, we have one from RJBROC underscore 35. I'm sorry if I didn't, you know, say that right. I'm sorry. Selena, you want to say hi to the camera? Come here. Woo! Come here, baby. You want to help me answer questions? Oh. 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 Yeah. Say hi. Ooh. Are you gonna be okay, puppy? Puppy. <laughs> She's like, please put me down. Okay. Are you gonna be nice? There you go, baby. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. So, RJ asked. What are your favorite shows? So, I don't watch TV that much. But when I did, I watched a lot of Steven Universe and OK KO. But, if uh, you're asking for anime, I can tell you about my favorite anime. Animes. So, I really liked Sanrio Boys. I had just finished it sometime last month. And it's great. I don't understand, but... Like, it was a really cute anime. It was about boys in high school who liked Sanrio, but they didn't, like, want to be humiliated or, or something. I forgot. But it was cute. And I understand. Every time I watch anime, it just makes me cry. There's some part in it. Whether it's, like, sometime in the middle or at the end, makes me cry. But thank you so much, RJ, for your question. Next question is also from RJ. He asked... Who is your favorite singer? One name. Aurora. All caps. Aurora. I would play some of her music for you, but I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get copyrighted, guys. I don't I don't wanna get copyrighted. Her voice is really like erethial. Is that how you say it? It's magical. It's majestic. She sounds like a goddess, okay? Uh, if there's a song that I would recommend to you guys, it would either be Winterbird or Churchyard. And don't worry, it's safe, it's clean, there's no swear words or anything in it. I don't listen to that kind of nonsense. So, thank you so much, RJ, for your other question. And the last bundle of questions, oh, is from Drew Thad. Okay, so this is a lot of questions. Okay, uh, we already answered that question. So, next question would be, if you could be from any part of the world, where would you like to be from? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I would like to be from Japan, but then again, I'm kinda, kinda, no, the word kinda, I'm kinda happy where I am right now. Maybe. Uh, let's see, we already answered that question. Do you take fan art? Oh. Oh my gosh. Yes. I will gladly accept fan art, and if you want, 
we can do Fan Art Friday. Ooh. So that means my upload schedule would be longer. Yes. It would. So, yes, I do accept fan art. You guys can send me fan art on my Instagram or on my Twitter, which I will link below in the description. It's always down there. And, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What a good question. Are you going to make me fan art? That would make me so happy. <laughs> uh, so, the final question is, how do you expect your channel to grow in the next year? Okay, this is a serious real question here. So, my channel, as of right now, the way it stands, there are certain things that I'm not happy with. And there are certain things that I want to expand on and grow. There are, cert there are a lot of things that I want to try. Um, uh, currently, right now, as of recording this video, I have 84 subscribers. So I'm thinking maybe by like maybe by the end of this year, sometime by the end of this year or maybe a little later into next year, I'll hit 100 subscribers. That would be nice. Um but I also think that I will me as a person will also make improvements and as I make improvements with myself that would help my channel improve more as well. Silly girl. So yeah, those are all of the questions. Thank you guys so much for giving me questions. Now we're going to try some snacks from the United Kingdom. So, first thing we have here is teeth and lips. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and try some teeth and lips. They smell good. So, here is a lip. They're good, it's just really hard to show. Okay, there is that. Next up is fizzy strawberry flavored lances, and it says it's super sour. I personally am a fan of sour candy. I don't know about you guys. I am. I love sour candy. Oh no. I don't want to get the scissors. No. Open. No, I don't want to get the scissors. <gasps> Wait. I see an opening. Yes. Okay, so it's a long, sugar-coated candy strip. Wow. That's sour. But it's good. I'm enjoying every minute of it. This is good. Kinda reminds me of um uh... Oh my gosh. The like rope things? What are they called? Are they by airheads? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, and then this one is strawberry flavored pencils. So there you go. I know, it's it's different because I Japanese culture, that's me, but why am I trying British snacks? Shush. 
this my channel. I get to try British snacks if I want. So let's take a pencil out. Oh, they all just kind of smell the same. Okay, so then I just kind of peel it. There is a peely candy. I don't know what it's called. It has like some white cream or something. feel contaminated now. Okay. Well, that wasn't very good. Um, let's go ahead and try these fruit pastels. Is that how you say it? Fruit pastels. Ooh. Ooh. What? Come on. So, they are covered in sugar and they are gummy. Tastes like anything. That's strange. But it's okay. Ew. It's a bad aftertaste. Alright. So now we're down to the last two things. So Livy and I are talking and we were kinda like bickering about American Smarties and United Kingdom Smarties, so apparently their Smarties are like M&M type candies, but they're like, okay, our American Smarties are called Rockets over there. Interesting, right? So I'm going to be trying the British version. They're basically M&M size. Yeah, M&M candy. Look at that. All oh, this chocolate is so good. Selena, last snack is this Yorkie. All oh, this chocolate is so good. My stomach's gonna be so mad at me. Cries in lactose intolerance. But, but it's okay. So it kind of melted and I had to freeze it. So it looks weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a, a wipe. Oh, it's so strange! It's like airy. Is it supposed to be airy? It kind of reminds me of the Cadbury egg. I have stuff all over my computer. Holy cow. Okay! So that was Q&A and trying new things today. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget that the poll is in the description down below on which box I should get rid of and then which box I should move on to next. Please, please fill out that poll. Your opinion on that matter is super important for me so then I can decide what I need to do. So, thank you guys so much and don't forget to stay kawaii!